Okay, hi everyone, and welcome back to another episode on Cobra Park Farm. So, yeah, potatoes, first of all. Yesterday, I thought I was harvesting all of this side of the field, but, um, <laughs> as everyone has quite rightly said, I was only harvesting 50%, which was obviously not intentional. Now, I'm used to using the self-propelled harvester, which I don't think does that. I think everything which you top, it will then harvest straight afterwards. But this one... The potato harvester on the back it seems to be offset and only taking up two rows at a time, which is a bit annoying, um, considering the, head, the uh, topper at the front here is taking a lot more than that. So today we're going to try again, and I'm going to try and do it properly, but as we're at the wrong end of the field here, first of all I will be going up, I'll probably take it off actually, I'm going up the left side to take up the bit that I've missed just here and then we'll come back down and we'll start topping again and this means obviously it's twice as slow as I thought it was as it's only taking two at a time I should have probably gone for the self propel one but you live and learn and yeah <laughs> I had no idea I was looking at it all the time and never realised it was only taking up two rows that's embarrassing. I think really the bit that I've sort of half done there, I can't really see where I've missed, so I can't really go back over it again. So I'll have to just um, say their losses, but I don't really need them anyway. I've got plenty. But I'm sure the sugar beet harvester doesn't do this. I thought the sugar beet harvester would... It takes in the same amount as the topper does. That must be why I got confused. Because I've not used this potato harvester before. But yeah, I can see where I've been now. I can see what I've missed. That's the row I've just done. That's the row I'm doing now. So there was me thinking I'd done a good job. I was actually being absolutely appalling. Really bad job. Yeah, I don't know if I should. I should probably probably should take this harvester off the back. And just do the topping first because it obviously seems easier to do it that way. So yeah, if there's any other equipment which is like this, where you've got something on the front which is cutting more than what you're collecting on the back, then please do let me know. I don't want to make this mistake again. But I can't really think of anything else, because I'm, I'm sure the sugar beet harvester doesn't. I'm sure it doesn't, because I've done a video on that, and it actually worked really well. Right, so that is the final row 
taking the tops off. I'm now going to remove this. I'll put the harvester back on. And yeah, it's going to take twice as long then to harvest all of this. Go and get the tractor and trailer as well. We'll have to go and get that back. Right then, so we should be able to see where I haven't been. This is where we've just done, so we'll be starting just here, which means I'll be going up the right side of it. It is difficult to see though. I think. Oh no, no it's not too bad. You can see where the potatoes are. But it is more difficult than the sugar beet is to harvest. Yeah, that makes more sense. It looks better as well see it's offset so thank you to everyone who told me about that I would have never known if you hadn't said I don't know if it's easier to go... Yeah, it probably is, isn't it? It's probably easier to go around the field again. Come back down this side. So I'm going to turn around. It's actually quite remarkable how you have such a large machine and it's only taking two rows at a time. I suppose it's so that it can process everything, it can shake the soil off, otherwise it'll probably get overloaded. Then back down again, if I can just see where we are, where have I been, where was it? It's quite hard to tell because I've obviously missed some bits. Can actually see my tyre tracks. Potato harvesting and probably sugar be harvesting too, it's amazing how much attention you have to have. There's so much you have to look at. Make sure you're always in line. So I'm going to continue and we'll go back into a time lapse. I'm not sure if you can even see where the potatoes are in the video actually. So I do have to reduce the video quality slightly just so I can upload it a bit quicker. Hopefully you can.
Right then, so I've done probably half of what we had to do there and we're almost full so I'm about to go and get the JCB we'll just line up again ready for the next run and I'll shut it all down Right, so here we are in the JCB, we'll head over to the field, and someone quite rightly said actually in yesterday's comments that I probably shouldn't sell the potatoes yet, and that is a good idea because obviously the price is really bad, it's actually on the red down arrow, um, so it really is pretty bad. So I'll keep hold of them until the price goes up, but we did get that great demand thing yesterday, so we can go and sell some barley at the biogas power plant which is where I usually take it to anyway um, and we should be able to get times two for that so that should be a real boost for us but really another reason why I'm not in a rush to sell the potatoes is because I'm relying on the silage which we did which would be worth a fortune there is four hundred and something thousand litres so that is quite a lot of money when I think per ton it's over a thousand pounds um, so we should do pretty well out of that when it's sold. But for now we'll go and empty this harvester and we'll take it over to our storage area for now. I was actually expecting to do the sugar beet harvest today, but clearly I'm not going to be able to do that. Um, but yeah, I would like to check on the silage, just to see how well it is doing. Right then, I'll just make sure this thing empties. Let's fill that trailer. 41.9%, 42% pretty much. We should be able to fill it to the top today. I'll continue here. And once I get closer to the end, which won't be too long actually, because I've done that side as well, I've been going down there. So we've only got this section here left. Which isn't too big. And hopefully this video is a bit more bearable than yesterday's video when those of you who knew that I was doing it wrong had to sit there and watch me do it wrong because that I can imagine is pretty annoying not something I want to be doing again Right, so virtually finished now, I can actually see where I've been, which I couldn't see yesterday. Actually, I can. If you look across the field, you can just see these faint lines where I've done half and missed half. But today, you can actually see where I've fully covered. It looks much better. Yeah, I'll just cultivate them back in again and we'll put wheat into here. I'm hoping that the sugar beet harvest is going to go a bit more smoothly than this. I've done that before so I know how that machine works. 
guess that is one of the problems when you haven't done something before. Right, I think that is virtually it. I don't think I've missed too much. There would be the odd one here and there, but overall, I think I've done fairly well in today's video. A bit better than before. Yeah, I can see where I've been much better today. Yeah, I can imagine that really was quite painful to watch, actually, yesterday. Oh, well. I know now, so I empty this. We're going to put it in a storage area. Okay then, so, back into the JCB, and I'll take this over to our sugar beet and potato pad, which is near the store actually, going towards the Wednesday store. Uh, that, that should be good, just as a holding place until the price goes up. We may even need some more for the pigs and beef cows, but we'll see. And then when it does go up, we'll be able to get a lot more profit for them. Just have to remember which one it is. Looks like it's this one on the left. Okay, that is our potatoes dropped off, and that is, well, that is the potatoes finished as far as I'm going to do it. Obviously the field isn't technically finished, but I want to move on to sugar beet. I think it would be remarkably boring if I just tried to go between the lines of where I've missed to pick up the rest of those potatoes. Um, I guess you could do, but really I'm not going to. I'm not that desperate for it. And we'll take this back. Wow, this is heavy traffic. It really is heavy traffic. And here we are. So I'll just put it here for now. We'll probably need the Flegel trailer at the beginning of the next episode to go and sell our barley. We'll have to make that a priority. But that is it for this video. Hopefully you've enjoyed it, especially more than yesterday's. And you can join me again tomorrow in Eurotrick Simulator 2 and then back on Tuesday on Woodside Farm. So thanks for watching and bye for now.